Insecurity and looting have hit Libya's archaeological sites in the chaos and fighting that followed the overthrow of Muammar Gaddafi in 2011 as rival groups struggled to consolidate control of the country. Gravity now covers the ruins of Cyrene in eastern Libya. The city founded by Greeks more than 2,600 years ago that once attracted tourists is now neglected and targeted by vandals. The international heritage sites in Libya have been designated as endangered sites due to the security situation in the country. A country going through war will see its historical artifacts also placed on the list of endangered sites. It won't attract the attention of countries or international institutions in the countries that have armed conflict. In the absence of foreign tourists and a site visited only by Libyan families on weekend trips, locals have seized land at the site and vandals have smeared gravity on columns and walls. Efforts to preserve the ruins is further hampered by the fact that Libya has two governments and a 2013 law that allows people to reclaim land confiscated under Gaddafi. There have been grave infringements despite the efforts of the tourist police and Shahat Archaeological Authority to stop them, but they still exist. This is due to the power struggle between civilians and security forces. Libya is home to five of UNESCO's 1,092 World Heritage Sites listed for their outstanding universal value.